Good morning, first grade writers. We are going to jump right back in to our fiction writing, and we're going to move on to our next strategy today of ways to bring our stories to life. Okay. Um, you guys had yesterday as kind of a catch-up day and a review day. Um, you were supposed to be using your adventure maps, right, to think of all your different ideas for your different series books and practicing um, unfreezing people and telling small steps in your stories. So today we're going to move on and we are going to learn one of the last strategies of how to bring our narrative stories to life. Okay, so I'm going to remind you with my chart that these are the two we already learned, unfreeze and tell small steps. And today we are going to learn, I'm going to jump up here for a second. We are going to learn our last strategy, which is... To bring out the inside, we're going to make our characters feel and we're going to make our characters think. Okay, so just like when we unfreeze our characters, we make them move, we make them talk. Today, we're going to bring what they're feeling on the inside out. Okay, and we're going to make them feel and we're going to make them think. I'm going to show you how I did that in one of my stories. Now... If you guys remember, last week I had started a new story about Junior where his friend called and told him about a new pizza restaurant. And I only wrote the first two pages of that story with you guys and you haven't seen the rest. So I'm going to remind you about the beginning of that story and then I'm going to tell you something I added without you. And today we're going to add another page where we bring out the inside. We make Junior feel and we make Junior think. Okay? So as a reminder, this is how this story started. One afternoon, Junior got a phone call. Oh, sorry. One afternoon, Junior got a phone call. It was his friend, Jose. Have you tried the new pizza restaurant down the street, he asked. Junior dropped the phone and raced out the door as fast as he could. Now, do you guys remember? This was when I was unfreezing the character. I made him talk and I made him move. Yesterday... While you guys were doing your work and I was home doing my work, I wrote this page. I told small steps, because that was the next strategy we learned, about something Junior did in the story. So here's my small steps. He ran down the stairs, out the door, past the laundromat and the barber shop, around the lady with a dog, and finally got to the pizza shop. You guys see what I did there? I gave so many details of all the different places he ran by and what he did. I told small steps to make it exciting instead of just saying, he went to the pizza store, right? Okay, so now he ran down the stairs, he ran past all these places around the lady with the dog, and he's finally at the pizza shop. Hmm. So I wanna think about the strategy, bring out the inside. I wanna make him feel and I wanna make him think. How do you think Junior would feel when he finally got to the pizza shop? Yeah, I agree. I think he would be really, really excited, right? I would. He loves pizza, and he just ran really, really far to get there all this way, and now he's going to get to have the pizza. So I think he's going to be really excited. And I also feel like he's probably thinking, I'm so excited. I get to eat the pizza. I hope it's good, right? Okay. So now, in my next page, I want to make sure I share those things. I share with my readers how he's feeling and how he's thinking. So this is what I came up with. Let me know what you guys think. Here it is. Junior felt so excited when he got there. He thought, I hope this pizza tastes delicious. Before walking in the door. So look, guys, I tell you how Junior felt, and I also tell you what he's thinking, he thought. And look at my picture. Can you tell that Junior's excited in that picture, the way that I drew it? His arms are in the air. His face is so happy. His mouth is open. And there's a thought bubble. And he's saying, I hope it's good. Right? So I made my character feel, and I made my character think. Okay, first grade writers, now it is your turn. Did you guys also notice that in all of these strategies and all of these lessons, I've only written about Junior. All of my stories are all about Junior. 
And in every single story that I write as part of my junior series, I can use all of these strategies. I keep jumping from story to story, right? When I taught you guys about telling small steps, it wasn't in this story. It was in a different story about losing his shirt. So you can use all of these things in all of your series stories. All right, go off, go try it. I cannot wait to see how you guys make your characters feel and think today. Bring that outside, that inside out. <laughs> all right, good luck first graders.